Thanks, everyone. Uh, my name is Chris Yem. I'm co-founder and CEO of Liberty X, and I'd just like to take a few minutes to talk to you about uh, fiat to crypto exchange, uh, on ramps and also why I think that this is probably one of the most exciting areas, and I think the unmet near to medium term opportunities both for entrepreneurs and investors. Uh, so I'd like to start off by just invoking a little nostalgia. Hopefully all of you in, in this room have tried or you know own crypto, and I think you know it's a really poignant experience. If it's anything like mine, it was filled with hardship, and you persevered, and every single person in the future who's gonna eventually own crypto will go through something similar. And for me, I'm an optimist. I think every problem that you faced is an opportunity for a startup to solve, whether it's you know, re-KYCing for the fourth time, uploading your third selfie, waiting a month for your account to be verified. It's all stuff that can be fixed, but it takes time. Um, but you know, on a more positive note, we take a step back for a second. This is where we started from in 2011, just four, you know, four exchanges across four countries. And today we have over 100 in 40 countries. And I think that this is incredibly impressive as um, an industry, and it makes me really excited to be part of the ecosystem. Um, I, I will challenge a little bit. If you actually look into these you know, 100 exchanges, a lot of them aren't fiat to crypto. They're crypto to crypto. And this is a really important distinction because if you think about the person who's not already in crypto, there's actually a significant barrier to get your first crypto. And once you have that, you know, all the magic and great stuff can happen. Um, but uh, I think that I, I'm going to pick on Coinbase for a second, probably one of the most known and successful exchanges um, out there that um, has built a great business. And, you know, you might think, well, you know, they're not such, such a great job. What's, where's the opportunity there? And actually, one of my favorite places to go to is the, the BBB, Better Business Bureau website. If you go and take a look, you see that there's actually a lot of negative opinions, 95% negative. Um, you know, take it for what you will, the BBB is very, uh, it's kind of like Reddit, it's, it's very polarizing. And, you know, you don't go there to post positive things. But I think that if you look at the, the typical complaints, it actually hits home a lot of the stuff that you guys talked about today, right? Um, Delays in receiving funds from Bitcoin sales, locked out of accounts, didn't have access to funds. That's custody, that's identity. There's a lot of the things that you know, we're all building solutions for. And I, I would say that you know, each one of these things is an area where we can really build something that could be very valuable for people, especially getting new, getting into the space. And I think this is a unique opportunity to, be, to build the gate, to be the gatekeeper. Um, the first time you try to buy crypto or you see it, you're going to form um, opinions that are going to last a lifetime, and you don't want to ignore the potential out there just because of a little friction. So are you saying there should be a change in the guard? <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Galen. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, actually, I think that the, the kind of um, traction we've seen and the challenges that we, we have as a crypto on-ramp can be really seen using you know, basic chemistry principles. So... What's interesting is, you know, eventually most people decide that they want to, you know, learn about crypto. They've heard enough from their friends to see the price appreciation. They want to get in. So that, that's kind of your baseline here. And then when they actually try to buy crypto, they realize there's so much friction, KYC, fund transfers, delays, that uh, it might not happen and they might just end up back where they started. But once they actually activate and hit that, now you have crypto, it's extremely easy to move across assets. And, you know, now you can buy anything, any token, whatever you want. What, what I find really interesting is that most people are focused on buying once you already have crypto. Like the, the decentralized exchanges are really, really fascinating, but it requires that you already have the crypto. A lot of companies are focused on, you know, make, building buzz, the first part, you know, getting education and excitement out there. But very, very few people are focusing on the middle, which is building the on-ramp. Um, so, you know, Blockchain, all the things is great, but I think at the end of the day, we can't defy physics. And physics say there's an iron triangle, and there's three things that you need to solve for if you're an exchange. Cost, speed, and convenience. Um, I'm happy to talk in more detail about this afterwards, but basically, you don't need to be all the things. You just need to be some of the things. And um, it seems like today, convenience and cost appear to be the ones to get the biggest scale. But I actually think convenience and speed are probably what's required and what's really useful for getting new people um, who have a higher you know, 
marginal reason of convincing to, to get in. Um, and also, that leads to, you know, if you're building an exchange, building a team, the kind of assets and um, talent that you need to do so. Um, so with that, um, thank you. Uh, if, you, if you have anyone that's interested in talking about on-ramps, building new services to get the you know, next million people in, um, please find me. And um, last but not least, this is not a charity. You can, turns out you can make a lot of money building an uh, on-ramp exchange. <laughs> yep, thank you.